Hello and welcome guys to episode 7 of our Pokemon Green playthrough series. Last episode seen us get quite a few new additions to the Pokedex, including a Clefairy, a Zubat, a Geodude, a Paras, and obviously the Magikarp that we do see above, which is now level 30. So making good, good progress there. But yeah, obviously as we exit Mount Moon, we do see we have Highway number 4. So as we progress down, there's one thing that you do need to grab up here, which will come in handy soon, if I don't jump out, is there's an invisible item just here, which is a Super Ball, also known as a Great Ball, which will definitely, definitely come in handy in the next episode. There's also, I do believe, a TM up here. I can't remember what this TM is. It is TM4. In this game, it's Exile. Not quite sure what that is, it could be I think it's like protect or something like that. Yeah. Before we do jump down, just wanna check. We have a decent Pokemon at the front. Because there's one Pokemon, I think one, maybe two, that we can catch here. And the first one we do see a Sancho by a desert. Sancho is definitely a cool little addition. Not going to be much useful for the gym we've got coming up, but definitely a cool ground Pokemon to have. Especially going into the ne the third gym, the next gym after this one that we're going to be doing in a couple of episodes time. Could possibly use him in one of our other playthroughs in red or blue. I definitely do like Sancho. Let's see if we can capture him before he takes out our Butterfree. There's one, two, and he jumps out in a second. Just about survived that, we'll have to change out now. We use our normal strategy. Oh, we can't. Yeah, sorry, he's a ground Pokemon. My mistake. That's not going to be much use for us. Do a quick attack, I'll just bring it down a touch. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll have another go now, hopefully. Get it this time. That's one, two, three, and we do get ourselves a Sanshu. I do feel like Sanshu's always been a popular Pokemon, to be fair. And after this, I'm gonna see if we can capture anything more here. Just bear with me a moment. Yeah, I don't think we can. I think Sancho is the only one that 
is new to be able to pick up there. As you see, I love the blue colour already of Cerulean City, or light blue city in this one. I don't think we get anything from these guys. Again, not even given as much inf information from all this broken English that we do see in green. But we shall just heal up real quick, and we'll have a quick chat after this with some of the locals, see if we can get any information. As you'll see from the thumb and the title of this video, in this video we'll be tackling the infamous Nugget Bridge, also called the Golden Ball Bridge in this version of the game. Not quite sure what these guys are talking about. Masa Masachi? So I guess Bill is called Masachi in this game. Have a quick run through these buildings. This, for those that do not, being a, a little bit of a different building in Pokemon Yellow, but we'll see that when we do get to Pokemon Yellow. Do you have Soft G? You exchange it with my red. We don't, unfortunately. But I shall remember. I'm not quite sure which Pokemon they are. So this is the uh, bike shop. Actually, we'll have a quick look in. It's too expensive for me to buy. How much actually is it? One million dollars. Um, I think we'll give that one a miss. A little bit uh, pricey for the bikes. We only have 921, but we'll have a quick look and see what's available. Do you see Pokeballs, potions? We'll grab a couple while we're here. We could always do with a couple more. We do obviously still have that great ball. That we did find. I'm not quite sure what she's referring to there. Yadalan. Not quite sure which Pokemon that is. Defend tenaciously in the shell. You know. So Yadalan could be, if I'm right, it's a cloister. This obviously is the gym, which we won't be doing it quite yet. We'll definitely look at taking on that, that one soon. We've already been in here, yeah. This is a cool little hidden area. Let's speak to this guy. So he gives us information. Secrets on the badges, okay. What secrets do we have for our blue badge? Hero's ability is just to... Funny symbol. Ma get gentle. It'd be difficult for you to control. The ability gets higher than that. Moreover, the skill to split itself becomes usable. 
Uh, not quite sure what that secret was. Kind of a riddle, if you ask me. But this, we can go out the back here, and there's a secret item which we can grab just here. And this is another Curious Sugar, also known as a Rare Candy. Obviously, Rare Candies give you one level in this game for free. Very, very useful towards the end of the game. Where it takes a lot of experience points to get your Pokemon up. But kind of personal preference really whether or not you want to actually use them. Some people do, some people don't. But yeah, I definitely recommend saving them if you can for the end of the levels. But yeah, without further ado, we'll head up to Nugget Bridge. We'll just check our Pokemon are all in order, which they are. And this sees the entrance of Jack, our rival. I haven't seen him in a little while, but he's definitely grown a little bit stronger, this being one of the more renowned rival battles that we do come across. It's always been quite a difficult one. This is why we do do a lot of battling in Mount Moon Previous to get our Pokemon up to levels, but even still we will see that his, even his first Pokemon, Pidgeotto, is already a level 18. Quite difficult to come across. Especially if it gets its sand attacks going, which hopefully it doesn't. Ah, oh, I say that and it does get one straight away. So, it can be a little bit tricky just even hitting this Pokemon if you're not careful. It's Gustol that <laughs> nearly takes Pikachu out in one go, and that's only going to take a third of a super. This is going to be tough. Pidgeotto is going to be very tough. Yeah. I was hoping to do more with Pikachu there, to be honest. But we will send in our Pidgey. Hopefully we can uh, Uno reverse card him. And get some of our own sand attacks going. And we miss ours and he hits his, unfortunate. Definitely just going to try and take a little bit off. I'm kind of willing to sacrifice Pidgey in this scenario, but I would rather not. Ah, I didn't have much choice anywhere. <laughs> okay, so uh, Nidoran. We do see the effects of Sand Attack coming in quite nicely there. Nidoran obviously not been hurt on that. I thought that would do a lot more damage. This uh, Pidgeotto is a lot more tanky than I actually remember. But we'll continue to try and wear him down. Hopefully get a critical hit, maybe. Possibly. Nope. One more, then. Should get plenty of experience points from this one, though. How many do we get? 216 for Magikarp. 216 for Nidoran. And a level 14. Nice. Poison Needle. Cool to know, not very strong though. He's ascending out Kess Kessie? Keki? Kessie. We'll say Kessie. Not quite sure who this is, but we'll put our magic cap in. That's an Abra. If I do remember right, I don't think Abra has any moves up until like level 18-ish. But we do have Butterfree, who does have the Psychic attack, of course. Now I think... Is Psychic super effective against Psychic, or is it the other way around? It's not very effective, we'll soon find out. So Transmit is obviously... Teleport. Yeah, so Psychic's not very strong. I got it mixed up, I got it back to front. Kind of a big mistake to make. Now who can we use? We'll stick with... Yeah, we'll go with Bulbasaur. It's going to be free XP anyway. We haven't used... I don't believe we've used Vine up yet, so we'll see what that looks like. Not very strong. It's a good job we're not in a rush, really. Oh, 
And we're only two levels different. I kind of expected it to do more than that. Unless Vine Whip's down as a special attack and not a physical, then you'd kind of expect Abra to have a decent special defense, being a special Pokemon. But yeah, it's definitely tanking these hits. It's only 76, I'd have expected a little bit more. Oh, it's because we're split up into three, okay. I thought it was only two. So Keller, what are you doing as Ratata? We'll definitely change out for this one. It can be a little bit annoying, to be honest, the Ratatas. Always do a little bit more damage than what you kind of expect. Do we go back with Bulbasaur? Yeah, we kind of because we want levels on Bulbasaur, especially considering the next gym is going to be a water-based gym. See if we can get a bide. We haven't used bide yet. Oh, that may have been a very bad move. Can we use a potion and just hopefully go for it that way? Hopefully the potions, our last potion, is enough to tank at least two hits out. I think it's two hits bide does. Yes, yeah, so there's one. Just less than half. And there's two, so we should... Oh, you got a third? Um, I guess we misjudged that one. We might struggle now. I think we might struggle. Because we do know, obviously, still has his Charmander. Hopefully we can take this Rattata out pretty quickly. With Butterfree. And he does use a tail whip, which is huge for us. Nice. So, oh, he still gets the... He's so speedy. Alright, nice. One left. Obviously, we're kind of one Pokemon down because we can't use Magikar. And Butterfree again to level to level 15. Awesome. Remembered Poison Powder. Could come in handy. As we do see, Charmander coming out. Level 17. My question is, why has he not evolved it? And this is going to be super effective, isn't it? Yeah, we actually did quite well, though. A little bit better than what I was expecting. We'll try... A confusion just before we faint. Oh, we actually tanked that as well. But I feel a lot stronger physically than I actually thought. Yeah, I was hoping he was going to miss that, but never mind. Doesn't mean we get some good experience points for our Nidoran and Magikarp. If we do manage to get it, we should get it with Nidoran. I don't see why we shouldn't. He uses a growl. Okay, that might be a little bit tricky. One more. Okay, we should get this. Yeah, I'd definitely be very, very careful with that Pidgeot or the beginning. Oh, that can be a very, very tricky one. I think the best strat would either to be our you know, a very strong Pikachu, or sand attack it before it can sand attack you. Only 595. It's not very nice, Jack. I would have thought that battle was worth at least 700. So, he's been up to see Masachi, and he's not a huge fan. Yes, we will go ahead and go thank him. Thanks for that advice, Jack.
But before we do that, we will heal up really quickly because we do need to tackle our friends on Nugget Bridge. If you don't know about Nugget Bridge, there's five trainers that we do have to beat in order to obtain a Nugget, which is obviously in this game a Golden Ball. That Golden Ball worth $5,000 or 5,000 Yen, we do see it called in Pokemon Green. But yeah, I'm not going to kind of stretch the video out any longer with five slow battles. I'll speed it up and I'll see you for the last one. All five trainers down. Congratulations for defeating the five trainers. Thank you very much. And we shall take our prize. Is one gold ball. Awesome. From Strange Trainer. We're good. So this guy is now trying to recruit us to Team Rocket. I don't think we should. We vow to never be beaten by Team Rocket. So there's actually six battles on Nugget Bridge, Team Rocket being the last one. He does have two Pokemon. We do see the last guy using a, a Mankey, which is always awesome to see. This guy has an Ekans. The sprite on Ekans being a little bit different in this game, unfortunately not containing any fangs in its mouth. I so do want to use our Leech Seed if we can, because we know it uses Wrap quite often, which can be very, very annoying. In this game, it kind of it's not 
a passive attack, so to speak. It kind of just stops you from using any attacks or anything. Yeah, Vine Whip's not very strong, unfortunately. We'll have to use Tackle. Yeah, we're not going to do too well against Ekans with Bulbasaur, I don't think. We've got Pidgey. Let's go. Let's go, Bobo. Don't poison us, please. I know it's a Pidgey, and I know it likes to be poisoned, but can we please avoid it for one? And it gets us again. <laughs> what is it with Pidgey and getting poisoned every single time? A quick attack should see it off Ekans now though. The name Ekans of course being Snake spelt backwards. It's evolved form Arbok being Cobra spelt backwards for those of you who didn't know or didn't notice it. Oh, we sent Bulbasaur in. I, we were supposed to be sending Magikarp in. That is my mistake. Um, yeah, we can't really do it now because it's going to get attacked. Come on then, Nidoran. Nidoran up to level 15 now, looking very, very strong. So is this guy's Zubat, unfortunately. Maybe get one attack on it. Not quite that strong. Um, we've got Pidgey who's poisoned. We're going to have to use Pidgey. Hopefully Pidgey can seal the deal on this battle. Please don't, please don't confuse us as well. Hopefully two quick attacks. Yeah, it should be two. And he used Leech Life, okay, that's fine. As long as it wasn't the bite, that could have been a little tricky. And that should see off that battle quite nicely. Bulbasaur reached level 14. Another four hundred and fifty pounds to the prize pot. You could even become great. What a pity. Ah, it's okay. I'm sure we'll meet your superiors before too long. As we run back, quickly get our guys healed up. Hopefully, Mr. Bobo can survive until we reach. Just about made it. So we did gain a few nice levels there from those battles, obviously getting a little bit stronger. But still not quite strong enough to take on the gym. We'll just head to the shop really quick. And we shall sell our nougat. Obviously, 5,000 nice coins. We do have 2,300, which makes 7,326. So, plenty of money at the moment. As always, we'll pick up a few Pokeballs. Much, much needed. We could probably get. Yeah, we'll go 12. Should leave us with a little bit spare for when we need it. Couple of portions. Definitely going to be needed for the next episode. Quite a tricky route to navigate. Insecticide. I'm guessing that is repel. 
we don't see any new additions, apart from the normal ones that we've seen before. That shall be all. Thank you very much, Mr. Shop Tender Person. But yeah, we'll head back up past our friends on Nugget Bridge. And with this episode now just creeping over 30 minutes, we'll pick up this item really quick at the top, which is TM45. Have a quick look at our team. Most of them level 15, a couple of 14s and 13. So decent progress on the levels, but yeah. As always guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. 18 Pokemon caught, 33 seen. We'll go ahead and save, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.